uh, I share a screen. I want, if you see the black board, let me know. Black board, black, uh, white board, sorry, white board. Do you see the white board now? Yeah, we see yes. it. Yes. Okay, you see? Nice. Yeah. Everyone saw that? This is Mac 1140 pre calculus class. Uh -huh, let me explain how many tests, how many homework, how many lab online we have. So, um, actually, we have four tests. Well, this is partial test. It's no final test. So we have we have final, we have final, but a, a final test is totally optional. Optional is only for the students if, for example, fail one test, they want to improve. You see, I have the syllabus here and another computer graph they have here. And for example, the test number one will be September 24th. The test number two, October 22nd. Test number three, November 19th. And test number four, and also the final, uh, the same day, uh -huh, you take December 17th, is the last day, you take test number four, and the student can need to take the final day, the final. The, the final is completely option, no mandatory. Do you understand very well this concept? Uh -huh. Let me continue explaining the test. The test normally contains, so we have tests on paper. Uh -huh. uh, for example, in one one day, uh, the, the the day of the test, I will send to you the 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 test in PDF format. You solve it at home, and you send it back. So you took a pictures for each question. The normal test to twelve to twelve to sixteen questions. Uh huh. You solve them one by one. Well, depending the the CSB answer or not, you solve them one piece of paper, or we solve them two and one piece of paper. Depending the size of the question, you solve it. You took a picture using your smartphone and you send me back. Yeah, I grade at home. Normally, normally it's supposed to the test is Tuesday, one one day. No, it's supposed to. October, or suppose que September 24. September 24 is, let me see in, in the calendar. September 24 is, do we send? Yeah, throughout the email, throughout the email. Uh -huh. For the same email, can I send the link to connect it today? I send, for that, for that way, I sent the, the test on paper. So the, this September 24 is, Third day to say, okay, you have the entire weekend for doing this. Uh, uh, Friday 25, uh, Saturday 26, uh -huh, uh, Sunday 27, Monday 28, and Tuesday 29 is the, the due day for the for the test. Okay, so you have time. Uh, I, I suppose it's no big deal. Uh huh. Do you understand this idea? Any question? Any question? Is the 29th correct? The first test? 24, September 24. Okay. Do you see the syllabus? Do you have the syllabus or not? Yeah, I, I have look, the syllabus. Yeah, I'm look, I looking now on the other computer, the syllabus. September 24, test number one. Okay, and thank you. you. See, uh, and do you see that before the test, I dedicate two sections for mega review? Review, review. Okay? Uh -huh. This is on paper. However, we have another kind of test, that's online. The lab online is Alex. Are you familiar with the Alex? You never worked with the Alex as the first no, time? No, I, I never. Never, okay, no problem. I explain now. Okay. I explain now. Let me try to explain now. Okay, 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 okay. Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. Uh -huh. 
Let me share the screen. You see, Alex, stop and share. Alex, there you go. Okay. Do you see, Alex? Yeah. Uh -huh. so Aha. To, to reach that page, you type in www.alex.com, no? Uh -huh. uh, well, you have no account. And you click here and they say new student, no? Yeah. Of course, I have yeah. account. Of course. Uh -huh. I log in. Uh -huh. This is your class. Your class is Max, the, the name of your class is Mac 1144 2020. Let me see here. Pero full, full, full. Mac 1140. Uh, there you go. Okay. By the way, uh, enroll four students. Okay. Okay. You open that. Uh -huh. In the first moment, you create the account. Of course, I don't want to show you how you create a account, but it's, it's obvious. You, you, it's, it, this is like a, a program to so say you follow in the program, the instruction, and click next and mm -hmm. define your credentials, so, uh, 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 password, uh, username, whatever, right? And the most important thing I want to show you is. That's right. Put it off the microphone, please. Off all microphone. And you click here in assignment. Look, assignments. Assignment. And this assignment is waiting for you. Look at that. Uh, this is say initial knowledge check, check. No, skip that. Initial knowledge check, skip that. I don't care. Mm -hmm. We have. Three homework. Homework number one for the test number one. Homework number two for the test number one. A homework number three for the test number one. We have a test number one online and we have the pre test. Let me okay. explain, let me explain and tell everything. The homework is completely optional. However, I have reward for the student to finish the homework and get an every and each homework more than 80 percent uh greater than or equal 80 percent you okay. get the score yeah. see the score is 80 percent or 90 percent or 95 percent 100 percent you have 10 extra points in the total overall grade for the test number one the test number one you you can take in only two times two attendants uh huh. And of course, when you take both attendants, uh, Alex compute the overall grade of the test for the higher score. Suppose mm -hmm. the first time you take, you get 70 and you get 95. When Alex consider it 95. Uh -huh. so two yeah, averages, uh, it averages it out. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And the pre test is, is similar to the test, but you don't need to take it. Only you practice with the pretest. Okay. Can take, you can take infinity time. One time, two time, three time, you copy in your notebook. When you are sure, you take the test number one. And the second attendance, you are doing better. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, let me summarize. Let me summarize the, the big idea. The big idea for this is see uh, share screen. This is a little bit complicated for me, guy. Eh? But I try. I try. Look, look. So you are familiar with the whiteboard, no? Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alex. Alex contain test. Of course, you can see only test one, no? But you throughout. The course you see, you see test two, test three, and four. Okay, for any chapter, we have pretest only for practice. Practice, practice. Uh -huh. um, homework. Homework is optional. 
optional. Uh -huh, but the reward is 10 extra points. Suppose in the test, you get 90 points because you failed two questions. Uh -huh, entonces, 90 points plus 10, 100. Mm -hmm. Then it's lower. It's this one. Do you understand very well the idea? Do you understand? Yes. Okay, let me explain one more thing. Lab online, sure. you have to purchase money. Your money. Uh -huh. uh, you can purchase it online in the official website for the Alex or using your financial aid, but you, you can purchase it but you can post online in the book store of the Home Tech Campus. It's available. If and you her, want, uh, can you send us I a can. link? Yes, but I have no here. I need to find because I received today, I received the email with the link. Don't worry. When the class is over, I send the link of the um, bookstore. bookstore of Thank the. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. One more important, one more important, one more important. Uh -huh. uh, but when, well, okay, you can work in the first two weeks using the financial aid, uh, financial aid code. Okay, in, in the in the syllable, in the syllable, you can see the code for the lab online. And we have to go. We have the permanent code. I uh, get sure. And we have the loan. It's a financial aid. It's, it's valid for the first two weeks. Okay, so my, my recommendation is as soon as possible, today, you enroll in the lab online. Okay? And what is do? Okay. And what is do? And what is do? It's do the same day it's do the, the the test on paper. So uh, we see get the test one more, more precisely. Test number one, I send to you September 24. It's due September 29, it's the next class. And this day is due the test on paper and the test online. And of course, okay. homework. everything is due. And you forgot. Test number one, and we start new thing. Test number two. Any question? Super clear? Yeah. Okay. Don't hesitate, guys. Any question? Let me know. Or you are shy, type in by. Actually, uh -huh. actually, come on, come on. One more question. Please. Um, so you're going to send the test on paper first before we do the online test? No, or no, 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 no. Uh, actually, we can start right now, but not right now because you don't know something, no? But okay, okay, uh, the, the test online is available now. Okay. And you open, and you say, wow, I don't understand anything. Okay, but you try little by little. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. I'm very important. I forgot to say that. Remember, I am your professor, but I am your friend. Uh -huh. Okay. I am available. 24 hours, seven day a week. You email me anytime. He, he asked me a, a specifically, prof, you take a picture. Professor, I don't understand that question. For, okay. me, it's easy. For me, it's easy. I solve it in one piece of paper. I take a picture and I send back to you the solution. Perfect. Okay? Uh -huh. Of course, homework, but notice. Okay. Uh, all right. I know what is the question for the homework, and I know what is the question for this. Okay. And one more thing. Well, to say, see, everything is clear. We start doing mathematics, no? Oh no. Do you see the board or not yet? Do you see the board or no? No. 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 I, I need to practice. Okay, this is the board, share screen. 
minimize. Do you see now? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay, good, good, very good. Okay, the first topic, the first test normally, it, okay, it, this class is no big deal. This class is not super hard. This class is, uh, in my opinion, no? The students say it is no big deal, it is no easy, 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 but it's acceptable, no? Uh -huh. uh, the test number one is easy. The test number two is easy also. The test number three is no easy. And the test number four is no easy. This is the tradition okay, teaching do every semester I teach in that class. Okay, this is the first topic we we discussing. Uh, Jonah, okay, John, okay. No question, guys. Everyone, okay, don't worry. You don't hesitate to ask me throughout the course anytime. Professor, what is do the test? Yeah, I clarify your idea, okay? Let okay. me let me start for the introduction. Polynomial. Function. Okay. Oh, this is very good. Polynomial. Don't worry, let me try to the, the paint. Introduction. Two. Polynomial. Functions. So the first thing we study in the chapter, in the test one is polynomial. Ah, uh, definition first. Uh, definition of the polynomial. Polynomial is polynomial is a collection of polynomial. Uh, and what is monomial? Monomial is the algebra expression like that. Suppose example to understand monomial. Suppose two x to the second power y to the four power. Uh, this the, the important piece to understand a monomial. The first number is the coefficient. Coefficient should be coefficient, no, no, no e. In Spanish, yeah, but in English, no. Coefficient is a real number. Real number. So one example of the coefficient is two, but another example of the coefficient is radical three or pi. So it's maybe rational, irrational, or 0 0.5, uh -huh, or fraction three over four coefficients. Uh, however, this and this guy is exponent. And the exponent and the definition of the monomial should be all number. And this is the important thing. Whole number means zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, it's integer positive number. Okay, for example, for example, to understand this, uh, x to the three over four. Three over four is x exponent, but three over four is no whole number. Therefore, this is no monomial. Another example. X to the minus two is negative. The exponent is negative two. Uh, negative two is no whole number. This expression also is no monomial. No monomial. No, no, no. No monomial. Uh -huh. This is this is clear. Huh? This is super straightforward, right? Now the important thing is the degree the degree of the monomial and the degree of the polynomial. Let me let me explain degree. This is an important concept that we are working frequently, degree. Uh, suppose this expression. Uh, suppose uh, three, three x to the second power plus four, 
x plus 6. Ese polinomio, right? Polinomio. It's a collection of monomials. Monomial 1, monomial 2, monomial 3. The degree, degree of this is 2. Is the exponent. Here, 2. The coefficient obvious is 3, but the degree is the exponent. The degree of this is 1, because this is invisible exponent 1, right? And the degree of this monomial is 0. Degree zero. When you see one number that x is missing, it's because it's x to the zero power. Because I know that x to the any power of zero power is one. So this is the degree two and the first monomial. Degree one and the second monomial. Degree zero and the last monomial. But the degree of the polynomial is the graded number. It's two. This is two is this two. These two, you take the degree of each monomial. This is the degree. Super clear? Uh, I have a question. Uh, go, go, go. All right, so for the 6x and the 4x, why does the 6x, I mean, the 4x has one degree, degree equals one, and 6x equals the degree is zero. They're both. Okay. The degree of this is zero. The degree okay. of this is one. Okay. One, no zero, zero. When you have four to the x, okay, the exponent is missing is because it's one. And this is degree one. And degree one is equivalent to say linear. <laughs> linear. <laughs> Noise, pulling off the microphone. Are you clear, Mr. Degree one, degree zero. Okay, uh, repetition again, another example. Repetition, another example. This is su super straightforward. Suppose this, uh, radical two, x to the sixth power, plus uh, pi, x to the fifth power, plus 20, x to the fourth power, plus, yeah, I suppose que maybe not necessarily as a sequence, is 40x plus 2,000. Uh -huh. What is the degree of each monomial? Degree of the first one. What is the degree? Six. What is the degree? Five. Uh, five. What is the degree? Four. Four. What is the degree of this guy? One, because the exponent is invisible, one. And what is the degree of this 2,000? Zero because x is missing, it is supposed to is x to the zero because I know that any number or expression raised to the zero power is equal to one. Yeah. This, this is equivalent to one. Now it's clear. Clear? Degree is clear? Okay, super. Let's go to the most complicated part. Let's go to the graph. How? How look like the graph of the polynomial function? Polynomial graph. When well, the polynomial is a smooth curve, like that. Wah, smooth curve. Because it's smooth, it's continuous. I want to explain what means continuous. Uh huh, uh huh. The continuous means that the curve we can draw without lifting the pencil from the paper. Uh, no, 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 no holes. No, no, no corner. No asymptote. No, no cup. Let me explain what is that. Hole is like that. Suppose a curve and we have a hole in the middle. This is a hole. The polynomial graph never has a hole. Never. Corner, like that. Never have a corner. Asymptote. Asymptote is something like that. Tuk, 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 tuk. Asymptote. And you never touch it. Asymptote. This is very good asymptote. Never. I never have a cup. Cup is something like that. 
similar to the corner, but a little bit curvy, like that. Now cup. So the, in conclusion, the graph that we are doing now of the program of future is super nice. It's a, a smooth curve, okay? A smooth, totally continuous. A smooth, totally continuous, and no complicated. Okay? Okay. Okay. This is the most important characteristic of the polynomial function. Wow, what the hell? Well, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Uh, let me explain now. And be able. Pay attention. This is not complicated, but it's a, it's a little bit confused. And behavior. It's valid, and behavior is valid not only for the polynomial, it's valid for any function. I want to show you of the polynomial function. So basically, the polynomial function is formed by the that function, x to the n power. This is the power. Power function, monomial, no? Power function. And depending, see, m is even number, or m is odd number. Well, the function is even function, or odd function. Uh -huh. I want to explain, use an example. To both, y equal x squared. It's a parabola. It's a parabola like that. It's a parabola like that. In this case, it's a parabola. Y equal x to the third power is odd number. Is something like that. And the family, suppose the family of the even exponent look like always like that. And the family of the odd exponent look like always like that. Uh -huh. Suppose que you have x to the four power. It's exactly the same, but a little bit more increasing faster, like that. And, and a little bit flat in that part. Okay, by the way, that part is in between one and negative one. Suppose now x to the three power. It's exactly the same, but something like that. Uh -huh. This is the, and what is the end behavior? Professor, one of the end behavior is in order to determine the end behavior for the one polynomial function. Look, let me show you example. Suppose that we have the function like that f of x equal minus four x to the fifth power plus six x to the fourth power plus two x. Hey, microphone off. Uh -huh. What is the end behavior? End behavior is when the x approaches to positive infinity or negative infinity. So it's, suppose this is the all real number line. This is positive infinity and this is negative infinity. I want to study what is the behavior, end behavior of this polynomial function and this value when the x approaches to positive infinity and when you approach it to negative. It's obvious. Get to say approach it to infinity. Infinity represent a huge number positive or a huge number negative. Okay, uh, ten million or negative ten million or negative twenty million. Therefore, in order to find the end behavior expression, you ignore you ignore this guy and ignore this guy. You take only the monomial. They contain the higher exponent to so say negative four x to the fifth power because when you plug in infinity here, infinity here, infinity here, the term it has more weight numerical is greater is this. So that's easy determine the end behavior because you take the 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 term the monomial that contain the higher exponent. Okay, but not always is easy. Sometimes it's a little bit complicated. Let me show you one example, and you try to help me to find the end behavior. Okay, suppose another function I want to call g. G is equal 
1 over 4, x parenthesis, 2x minus 3, cubic, x plus 4, raised to the second power. Uh -huh. My question is, ¿ese polinomio yes or no? Yes or no? What do you think? ¿Ese polinomio yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. No. No, no yes, no. Yes, it is a polynomial. Yes. What the only, yeah, what is the only problem? <laughs> the only problem is that I write in factory form. That somebody, not me, do the factorization. But okay, okay, if you want, you spend time, maybe 30 minutes, to expand this and multiplication, this and this together, and you get a big, 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 big polynomial, right? But this is not important. This is just a stupid algebra. Now, this is the polynomial. When you expand, expand this, because this polynomial that the professor put in the board is expressed in factory form. Okay, sorry. Ah, uh, but my question is, where is the end behavior? What is end behavior expression? It characterize this polynomial. What do you think? Opinion. Come on, I want to hear opinion. Remember the end behavior. End behavior, you think X is a huge number positive or a huge number negative. This is the idea for the end behavior. You plug in here a huge number. So what is the end behavior? Well, I suppose it's one for a state. And X, stay also, no? But here, so you're plugging in uh -huh, as 2X minus 3 cubic. But OK, OK, OK. But so you're plugging in here, a huge number. It's obvious, it's obvious that this tree is completely, completely, completely negligible. Yes or no? OK, suppose million. I am millionaire. Million times two, two million minus three, three dollars is nothing. So this is completely negligible, and this four is completely negligible. So, so my expression look like, like that. Look, this is two x cubed uh -huh, and x squared, correct? You delete this, you delete mentally, you delete it according to the end behavior, no? Uh -huh. So now let me simplify a little bit this expression, no? 2 to the cubic power is 8, divided by 4 is 2. And we have 1, 3, and 2. This is 5, 6. Do you see the expression and behavior? This is the answer. The answer in the first was easy. You take only the greatest point. In this case, if factor 4 is a little bit more complicated. Uh -huh. Do you see or no? Ah, entonces, bueno, ok, 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 ok. Entonces, eh, what, what is the application? What is the, the um, utilization or the end behavior? What, what, what idea help me to understand end behavior? Bueno, ok, ok. End behavior help me to understand a little bit how look like my graph. My graph look like, let me see, in this case, phi. You know that the phi is something like that. Okay, I don't know exactly what happened in the middle, but I know that the end behavior is phi. Remember, when this, when this odd, the polynomial graph will look like, like that, or like that. When this odd point. When it's even, look like, like that. I don't care. This is just end behavior. This is even, or oh, like that. Even. This is even. And this is odd. Okay? You can represent graphically or you can say, well, Professor, this is uh, left up, uh, right down. Left up, 
write down. In this case, is left up, right up. Both is left and right. It's up. Do you understand the idea? Or I need to explain more clear. Aim behavior application. Utilization of the aim behavior. Huh? No, no camera. Eraser. I don't know what happened here. Delete. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Let me try to move that direction. Do you understand aim behavior or no? Okay. So say important thing, aim behavior. Another important thing to do the graph because the, um, the objective today is do the graph of polynomial function. Uh, the important, important, super important is y in a set and x in a set. Uh, what is y in a set? What is the formula for finding y in a set? Is the function evaluating zero. And what is the formula to, for finding x in a set is the function equal to zero? And the real solution of this equation represents the x in a set. Let's see example. One straightforward example. Very, very easy. Example one to understand everything that we are studying now. The polynomial function is f of x equal x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. Okay, okay, super. Uh, let me re review a little bit and behavior expression and behavior expression. Who oh, help me? What are the aim behavior expressions for this polynomial? Please tell me. Using the chat. Hello, are you there? SQ, very well. Aim behavior expression is easy because there's no factor before. You take this, the, the, the monomial that contains the higher uh, exponent. Super. So, say, si you want to represent graphically, this looks like, like that. I don't know exactly what happened in the middle, but. Uh, I know that my graph will look like, like that. It's right up and left down. Super. And left down. Okay, now let's go to the new part, que es compute the y in a set. Y in a set is super easy because you evaluate the function is zero. And when you evaluate the function is zero, the n expression is which we cannot. Hey, hey, noise. 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 Mister, uh, activate the microphone and repeat a question. What do you ask me about? Are you really scared to do that? Oh, noise. Just noise. Well, just use in the chat. Well, I continue. Uh, uh, y and Z is super easy. You evaluate in zero. When you evaluate in zero, plug in zero, 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 zero. The answer is negative nine. It's obvious, right? The answer is obvious. It's negative nine. So to find, and the polynomial function, the Y and Z is obvious, is the, the term that do not contain X. The, the term when the X is missing. So, so the point is the point, zero comma negative nine. Because X is zero, and Y value is negative nine. And X in a sense always is a little bit more complicated. You, have, you try to solve it this equation. Uh, suppose the, the equation is X cubed plus X squared minus nine X minus nine equal to zero. So you put equal to zero the Y value. And you manipulate algebraically this expression in order to isolate. As you are doing factorization, factoring by grouping.
Uh -huh. For example, this couple, the great common factor is x squared. And this couple, the great common factor is solved because negative 9. And you can see, wow, x plus 1 is common factor. You stay in the second parenthesis, x squared minus 9. And I can see then that this is the difference of a square. And we continue factorization. So you have to complete a square, square, square. Uh, different of squares uh -huh. to say is x plus one open two parentheses square root this is x square root nine three plus one minus. and the solution when you apply the zero factor property each factor is zero and the solution x plus one equals to zero is obvious the solution is negative one x plus three equals to zero the solution is negative 3 and x minus 3 equal to 0. The solution is x equal positive 3. No parenthesis, guys. Now, the set of the um, x in a set are negative 1, comma, 0, comma, negative 3, comma, 0, comma, 3, positive 3, comma, 0. Now we are ready now to do a rough sketch of the, 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 this polynomial. This is the end behavior, okay? Look like, like that. However, we determine that a negative nine, I suppose that here, negative nine, so at this point is the point zero comma negative nine, okay? Our polynomial passing through that point. Uh, however, we have we have look we have approximately okay. Let me try to do more more elegant here. Okay, this is my rectangular coordinate system. Huh? I know that the aim behavior is like that. Uh, we discover okay, here in one, two, three, negative three, negative three comma zero. We have x in a set, and likewise, one, two, three, three comma zero is another x in a set. In negative one, get here, negative one comma zero is it? And we discover also that in zero comma negative nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we have zero comma negative nine is y in a set. Let me use another color. Is my polynomial graph look like, like that? Okay. It's clear. It's... Yes. Okay, but I, I have surprise for you now. Surprise for you. We never. Remember, we are living in the United States of America. We, ha we are living in the 21th century, and we have a lot of software to do graphic of the, any function. And we're working in pre calculus we're working with the two important software, super important software. The first one that we are studying now is called Desmos. 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 Do you see before Desmos or never you see before? Somebody somebody saw bef uh, Desmos before or never? Yes, Yamil, say yes. Another another student can saw Desmos at least one time in your life. Okay, money, money, uh, money. Okay, let me switch into Desmos. Okay, uh, okay, good. Let me switch into Desmos to see Desmos and you see surprise. So, and the test. Okay. And the test. You are doing the graph in the paper, no? Oh, no, yeah. You are doing the paper because you want to show me, no? You take a picture and send me back. However, in the real life, we are doing here. And the, look, Desmos is super easy. Here, Desmos. You look at the Desmos, you go to the look at the address www.desmos.com. 
Entonces, I recommend you que you create your own account. Look, this account is Jorge, que es my name, right? It's super easy because you, when you try to create account, the only information that you need to provide is the one email address and you define one password and that's it. And you have a, your special account in Desmo and anything that you are doing in Desmo, you save, okay? And you can use it in the future. But suppose the example number one that we are doing today, example number one, look at that. Example number one, uh -huh, look, is that function okay, is x cubed plus x squared, and the graph look like, like that. Look at that. Well, let me try to wait, wait a second, project to move to see much better, more elegant. Okay. You see clear, I put a graph. Uh -huh. If you want, you put the points. Look at the point. The most important point is one, two, three, x in a set, and one, y in a set. I plot that. You send the color that you want, you change the color if you want. For example, I want to change no, 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 no red. I want to change to black. You press here, uh -huh. you select here the color that you prefer, and the point now is black. Okay, this is the, this is the thing that we are doing in the test. Anytime, no on paper, you are doing it in your own. Uh, and it's, it's easy because it's totally online. You don't need to download in your computer or device. You can use it in your laptop when your smartphone, because we have Desmo and apply in your smartphone. Do you like? Do you like? I love you. We are the best in Miami Day College, coño. Okay, let me try to explain one theoretical thing. Uh, I will come back to the board. Uh -huh. We study in detail, you know, the X in a set and the Y in a set, right? Uh -huh. But I want to explain something. Look, let me show you. Uh -huh. Suppose, in this case, I don't want to do the graph. I want to explain the theoretical idea only, right? Okay, look, suppose this is this polynomial. This polynomial is f of x, example two. No, example two, example. 1.5, because I want to explain only one theoretical part, not do the graph of this. Suppose the polynomial like that, f of x equal x squared, parenthesis, x minus two cubic, and uh, x plus four, seven power. Uh -huh. So what is the end? Behavior. Expression. Uh, be careful because this is factor of four. The end behavior pressure is x squared is the same. No? You delete mentally these two and delete mentally these four. So it says x to the cubic power and it's x to the seventh power. No? And this is 10, 12. So if it's 12, it's even, the end behavior looks like that. Uh -huh. It's positive. Even and positive, because it's even negative is down. But even positive. This is the aim behavior to give me approximation how it look like my graph. Seven, three, twelve. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Now, important thing is, right, let me see, two, three, seven. No? Okay. The important thing is, the important thing is how, or at what point the graph touch or cross. So actually we have in my graph, we have here one factor it is in zero. At this point is zero. We have one second factor it is two. One, two, it's another zero. At x equals zero is the x in a set, no? As x equal two is another x in a set. And at x equal uh, negative four 
que es análogo de Ciro, que es 1, 2, 3, 4, aquí. Negativo. Ciro y positivo. Positivo, do. Ajá. Es interesante porque cuando you see en the factory form negative, es because en the graph es totally opposite side. And you see positive four, negative four. Uh, and the graph look like, like that. Look like, like. Entonces es eh, en, en four, cross. How do you know que cross? Because when the exponent is odd number, cross. When the, not, when the exponent is even, touch. So touch, even. Cross. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Now, three. Three is also cross, no? Ajá. Uh -huh. And two cross here. Cross. But here, touch. I suppose, I don't know exactly what happened, but touch. Touch. Okay? Okay, what is the idea? This is cross. And this is touch. Maybe like that, or maybe like that. This situation happens when the exponent is even. This situation happens when the exponent is off. Depending is in this direction or in this direction. So basically, if the exponent is odd multiplicity, this is the name of this. It's, and when the exponent is odd multiplicity, the graph crosses the x axis at this point. When the multiplicity is even, depending of course the exponent the graph touches the x okay let me try to see more easy example okay we are doing by hand and we are doing in decimals to make sure this is actually the example two this is the example two. actually it's the example two to put the polynomial like that x to the fourth power minus four x to the second power. Question number one, what is the degree of this polynomial? What is the degree of this polynomial? What is the degree of this polynomial? Four. Four, very well. What is the, what is the, uh -huh, good, uh, uh, very well. What is the end behavior expression? Help me, what is the end behavior expression of this polynomial? What is the end behavior expression of this polynomial? Nobody. X to the six, X to the six or to the four? No, X to the six, to the, to the four. Sir, you analyze monomial by monomial, degree two, degree four, and you take the higher the bigger, okay? No, 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 it's, a, okay, maybe you're confused si es multiplication, si, suppose que es x to the four and another variable, suppose y to the second, the degree is six. Ajá, uh pero -huh, it's not the case, because we are using only one variable, que es x. Okay, okay, ajá. Uh -huh. Now, determine the intercept. The intercept in order to find the y in a set, you evaluate the function is zero. And you evaluate the function is zero, is zero to the fourth power minus four times zero to the second power. It's all because zero and the point zero comma zero belong to the graph. In this case, zero comma zero is both. It's x in a set and y in a set. Now, let's go to the x in a set. The, the formula is f of x equal to zero. In other words, it's x to the fourth power minus four x to the second power equal to zero. And you solve in this equation. Uh, is there a common factor? Yes, x squared is common factor. x squared minus four equal to zero. And this is the difference of the square again. x plus two, x minus equal to zero, entonces one by one, each factor is x squared equal to zero. It's obvious that the solution is zero. In this case, the multiplicity is two, because where? So actually it's like zero comma zero, two zero. And the other is negative two, 
multiplicity one and x equal positive two multiplicity one. Okay, now this is the moment to do the graph by hand and check it out in this one, right? By hand is, let me see, this is the graph, x, y. Uh, we have a point. The, the first point is 0, 0 at the origin, 0, 0. The second point is 1, 2, 1, 2. Does, I forgot the end behavior or no? Oh, no the end behavior, what, what, the end behavior is, is even, no? The end behavior was, end behavior was, end behavior monomial expression was x to the fourth power, no? And the x to the fourth power look like, like that. Chum, 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 chum. It is right up, left up. Uh huh. Because the point is one point here, one point here. Uh huh. Because in this point, the multiplicity is one, is odd. Therefore, the graph cross it. Here, also cross it. But in zero, no, because it's two the multiplicity. Therefore, the graph touch. Right. I did roughly, I suppose that this is perfect symmetric, right? So that part is exactly the same like that because it's even function. And remember, even function, call algebra, is symmetric. We respect the works. Well, let me verify my analysis uh, using the this one. Uh -huh. Let me go back to this one. Go. Got it. Do you see this one again? Well, obviously, this is the example one. No? Let me see example two. No? Look at that, the example two. We make it so, to see more clear. Uh -huh. This is the polynomial. If you want, you put y here, or no? Y equal. I like to put y. And this is the graph. Any question? What part you don't understand? Super, we are the best in Miami Day College. Oh no. Or is it too hard? Too easy or too hard? Too <laughs> okay, you want to say song up, two song up. Okay, good. Let me explain another theoretical part. I come back to the board. Board shape. You see the board? Oh no, no. No? Now, yes, the board. Do you see or no? Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, let me explain turning point. This is another important idea. Turning point. Uh huh. Uh, normally, the polynomial graph look like, like that, turning point. Suppose, suppose three different cases. Suppose degree two. Well, degree two is x to the second power, no? Suppose it's a parabola. Well, we have more thing here, not necessarily the classical parabola, but the, 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 the vertex is in the origin, no, no. It's a parabola, but the turning point, tp, is one. Because we have this point is a turning point. So it's the point in which the curve decreasing and stop and after increasing. So decreasing, decrease. This is turning point. So see degree two, we have one, one turning point. Suppose degree three, normally the graph of the uh, of the degree three, so x cubed plus something, no? Look like, like that, uh, we have two turning points. One here, one here. 
turning point equal to suppose n equal 4 x to the 4 power plus something look like that suppose. this is the n behavior this is the n behavior look at that this is the n behavior is right up left up right up left down right up left up uh -huh. and the turning point are how many turning points we have three no one two and three uh, so what is the conclusion the conclusion is the conclusion is no it's not simple it's not easy is see you have a polynomial and the degree is equal m the amount of the turning point is at most at most n minus one. Uh-huh. Look. Degree two, two minus one is one. Degree three, three minus one is two. Degree four, four minus one is three. Pero the word at most indicate of que es greater than or equal. Okay? Why? Because sometimes happen, for example, the classical example of the, the function y equal x cubed is degree three and a three. However, when you are doing the graph of this, look like that. Like and the turning point is zero. We have no turning point. Okay, because so at most indicate that maybe it's at most indicate that maybe it's turning point zero, turning point one, turning point two, and that's it. So in the degree three is impossible on in point three. No, at most. Do you understand the idea for the turning point? Super. Okay. Let me spend the last moment. It's okay, guy. You understand very well or no? Too much information for uh -huh, good. Very good. A little bit, no, good. Remember, uh, I don't want, no, professor, a little bit, no, a little bit, C or D. You want to get A? Yes. No, no, or 90, 91, 92, 92. Okay, let me refresh your memory about, uh -huh. what's the problem? The, the, the examples that we are doing so far are too easy. And to find or for finding the x in a set, the only way that we are using is factorization. However, factorization is weak. It's a very, very weak method. And we need to study another strong way to find the zero the, of the polynomial. In other words, zero means the x in a set, the real x in a set, using another mathematical procedure. And this is a synthetic division. Do you remember synthetic division you see before in your life? Synthetic division or never you see in your life? Yeah, you see. Okay, 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 okay. Don't worry. I, I, I try to refresh your memory. Okay, synthetic division, synthetic division. Let me, let me, let me try to explain, first of all, quickly, because we have only 10 minutes, no? Long division and scientific division. Long division first. Long division, division, and after scientific division. Okay, I want to do it in both way. I explain the limitation in both case. Suppose this elementary example. Suppose I need to divide two x squared. Uh, plus 3x minus 14 divided by x minus 2. And we are doing it both ways. Use a long division first and use a scientific division. And you see advantage and disadvantage. Uh, so long division, you create the typical format for the long division, no? Is you copy the, this is divisor, this is dividend, Get the dividend you copy inside the box 2x squared plus 3x minus 14. And outside you copy the divisor, no? Okay. 
and you start the division. You copy here, one expression can multiply by the first, look like equal to this, or be less to x. Because two x times x, okay, this multiply this times this. Okay. Two x times x is two x squared. And this times this. Okay, so we have this negative four, no? negative four x. By subtracting, you change the sign. It's a typical procedure for the division, no? When you divide in arithmetic in elementary school, you divide five, divide by two, you say two, two times two is four, subtracting one. Remainder one, answer is two. Okay, it's a quotient. And this is a remainder. Yes or no? You remember that or no? Exactly the same we are doing in algebra. Uh -huh. So this is a cancel. Okay, good. This is seven. And bring down the next guy. How do you know that we have to continue the long division or you stop? Stop or continue? Continue. 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 What is the clue that gave me information that okay, I need to continue? The 7x minus 14. Uh-huh. What happened with this guy? What is the degree of this polynomial? What is the degree of this 7x minus 14? What is the degree of this? One. 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 And what is the degree of the divisor? What is the degree? What is the degree x minus 2? Also one, no? Uh huh. So say we stop when the degree of the remainder is smaller than degree of the device. So you start, you stop, sorry, when the degree is zero here. Uh -huh. So we continue, this is plus seven, no? Seven times x, seven x. Seven times two and negative, negative 14. By subtracting, change the sign. In this case, by coincidence, remainder is zero. And the answer of this division is just this. Any question? Let's do it now in scientific division. Scientific division is fantastic. But scientific division has limitation. What are the limitations for the scientific division world? First of all, you only apply when the divisor is degree one. If the divisor is the degree no one, we cannot apply scientific division, but in the majority of the case, this situation happened. So, so you are doing similar. You open the same symbol and you copy the dividend expression, but without verb, you copy two, three, and negative 14. Okay? And you copy here that expression, but only using the number and opposite sign. Wow, opposite sign. See, in the long division, you see minus two in the scientific division, you, you put positive two. Opposite, opposite. This is minus, this is positive. This is plus, this is negative. Why? Because you never hear, or so here, systematic, I need to change the sign. Change the sign one time. Change the sign. No, 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 I change the sign one time. Here. I'm bringing down two. Two times two is four. Four and three is seven. Seven times two is 14. Subtraction, zero remainder. So on the zero remaining, this is guy is exactly the same of this. And the answer is this is x to the zero, x to the one. The answer is 2x plus seven. Exactly the same. Wow, I like so much. I like so much. Do you remember or you don't remember? Uh -huh, but what is the problem? What is the what is the what is the what is the complicated situation maybe we have in say credit division? No? Okay. I never learned this. Wow. What happened in high school, guys? Okay, no, no, but don't worry because we practice every day scientific division. We practice every day. Every day. This is the most interesting and uh -huh. Ah, uh, you are old. Okay. But how old, mister? No, no problem, no problem. 
The age is no important. 59. Good, you are young. Okay, let's practice a little bit. Uh, scientific division. Let me try to find one nice example. Suppose, suppose, suppose. This example. X cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 divided by divided by divided by divided by x minus 1. Uh -huh. Okay, polynomial degree 3 and the top polynomial degree 1 in the bottom. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. entonces, what's the answer? Bueno, the answer, when you f perform that division, uh -huh, you obtain 3 minus 1 degree 2. Uh -huh. And remaining, I have no idea. But okay, I don't worry, you, I try. I try to do, this is the interesting because you apply three times scientific division. I copy 1, negative 6, 11, and negative 6. Uh, this is the coefficients here. One invisible, negative six, 11 positive, and negative six. And you divide by one, no? Remember, opposite sign, see, in the, in the binomial, you see minus one, because so you put it here, positive one. Bring down one directly, not doing any operation, a multiplication. One times one is five. One times one, sorry, is one. And now subtraction is negative five. A multiplication, negative five, time one, so the action. You bring down this one directly, and you multiplication this and this. Uh -huh. And you copy that multiplication here. Uh -huh. And you combine like term, negative six and one, and negative five. And multiplication this and this is negative five. And this is six, and multiplication this and this. Is positive six and the remainder is zero. That's mean. Uh -huh. When the remainder is zero, that's mean okay, x minus one is the factor of this polynomial because when you perform the division, you get zero remainder. Zero remainder. It's important this idea. Uh -huh. Let me try to continue perform more scientific division because I want to find the research and complete this. Uh -huh. Wow, what the hell? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I copy, I, I continue, I continue. Let me use another color, let me use a blue color. Suppose I want to continue perform another scientific division using, using for example, two. I did one. Using two, one, okay, okay. Bring down one, duplicate one times two is two. Uh, negative five plus two is negative three, and negative three times two is negative six, and again, zero remains. That means that the factor x minus two is also factor of this problem. Uh -huh. And finally, this is the answer of the division, okay, is x to the zero, x to the one. Therefore, I can see no more scientific division anymore. Is the factor x minus three is also factor. So in, 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 in super easy, easy, easy way, you are doing the factorization of this polynomial original was, remember was, x cubed minus six x squared, uh, plus 11x minus 6 and the factorization was x minus 1 x minus 3 minus 2 and x minus 3 it, 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 you, you can see it, it doesn't matter the order is not important because of multiplication and in the multiplication the order is not important so we are doing the factorization without without the rule of the factorization okay, we study in elementary algebra guys too much for one day we continue practice scientific division, uh, another more complicated topic. Uh -huh. Do you like that class? You feel good? Okay. Okay. Giovanni Isaac is good. Everything is good. Do you like? Okay. Uh -huh, guys, well, I love you so much.
So remember, 205, 30. We continue that part. Okay? Professor, take care. You want to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, do you, do you, um, calculus and analytics. Yeah. No, I don't understand. Do you uh, teach calculus and analytic geometry? No, no, I teach in calculus one <laughs> and the three. Okay. Analytic geometry. This is not a name of the subject. No, no, no. It's because in the next calculus class, I need calculus and analytic geometry. Poca uh, sangre. Uh, uh, to take calculus one, you need to pass this class. Correct. Oh, trigonometric. <laughs> okay. So it's because the next class I need to take, because I'm an architectural engineer, I have to take calculus and analytic geometry. That's the name of the class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I was, I was wondering if you taught uh, it. Let me try to explain again. You. Uh, this class is MAC 1140, correct? Correct. Uh, yep. You have to take another case, MAC 1114. Which I did. Uh, trigonometric. 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 So, so when you take both, you are ready to take calculus one, que es MAC 2311. Okay. Okay, and after sequentially, calculus two, MAC 23. Okay, clear, clear now? Yeah. 